Hey, hi everyone. Uh, we would like to introduce our project on airline reservation system. Uh, myself, Mina Reddy, Agamamidi, and my project mates are Ramcharan Reddy, Algubelli, and Shashang Reddy, Swami Reddy. Uh, the main agenda of the program gives you the use case diagram, system functionality, cost estimation, model, architecture, elaboration plan, project plan, and apart from this, I'm also giving you some information about the abstract. Coming to the project overview, the main objective of this project is to design and develop an airline reservation system. The project is mainly intended for the customers who use the airline websites to make reservation on flights. This system is implemented in OOPS using object oriented programming technique. Uh, the main motivation uh, for the project comes from the my interest to learn the technologies like C++. Creating a web based online application would give me more experience using these technologies. The project title as air ticket reservation uh, mitigates the burden of reserving the air tickets at the airport when it helps the, to book the tickets online from workplace or home. We can find bus stations and train stations in each and every city but not the airport. Airports are located only at uh, metropolitan cities, so it's hard and time consuming to travel all the way to the airport to book a ticket. So we came up with a new idea of uh, designing a website for uh, reserving these uh, airline tickets in online, so that, that would be both saving the time and money. Uh, we have used some object-oriented programming concepts that were taught in the class by Professor Kai Jong uh, to design this project and we have uh, used waterfall top-down model to design the project initially we collect the requirements of then design the project based on the requirements and implemented oops concept to design the project and test it on various platforms coming to the use case diagram i have mainly two uh, mm, models i have been implemented like the customer as well as the administrator those are the two modules like the customer module and the administrative module and here in this diagram i have been given you uh, the actions or the transactions that a customer can perform uh, on the website like uh, he can just view the home page log in and register he can book the flights book a model book a package contact the company and some booking instructions he can just go through all the booking instructions then now coming to the use case diagram of the administrator uh, administrator has uh, all the administrative privileges uh, like he can log in, log out, and he can add or delete customer information. He can modify the flight information. He can add or delete some model information and uh, modify the package information, cancel the reservations, modify details of the web page and uh, email confirmations. So uh, the basically the administrator itself has like, all the privileges of the website. Now coming to the uh, activity diagram. Uh, activity diagram shows us the a state by state uh, functionality so first the customer requests for a ticket then he is needing to select the type of the class like the economy or uh, business or the first class then he need to choose the birth or the seat number then coming to next functionality once if everything is fine then he's going to make the make payment then if he's going to make the payment and the payment is confirmed then we are going to have the ticket confirmation details Okay, then we have a uh, reservation made successfully. That's all you know. You're gonna get your e-ticket. This is what the main functionality or how the procedure goes on by step by step. Coming to the sequence diagram, it shows the transaction or uh, the uh, transfer of messages. Like the passenger is going to request request for a ticket for the reservation system, and if the reservation internal itself shows the availability, it checks for the availability of the or re request of a ticket, I mean the requested ticket or uh, the reservation. Then, if the reservation is available, then you're gonna ticket it's gonna send an acknowledgement saying the ticket is available. Then, if ticket is available, the passenger is gonna make reservation or the customer is gonna make a reservation. And once if he's thinking of making reservation, um, the reservation system is going to request for payment. Then, make a payment and the reservation is done. You are done with the reservation. Now, we are coming to the class diagram. I have like three classes passenger flight and reservation system so we have both the public and private uh, uh, attributes and as well as we have different methods like get train details or get flight details or what it may be make reservation and the functionality for the product is divided among the users 
and the administrators of the airline reservation system the user function i mean like we have two functionalities like the user functionality as well as the administrative functionality coming to the user functionality whatever the user can do like he can book the flights display the passenger list okay cancel the flight view the booking instructions online this is what more clear in the use case diagram the same thing goes with the administrator like whatever the uh, privileges or rights an administrator has or the function that he can perform are shown over here coming to the cost es estimation model the constructive cost model also known as COCOMO model has been designed in 1985 by Bargoem to give uh, an estimate of number of man months it will take to develop a software product so it depends upon those some um, criteria I mean those criteria we just try to estimate the uh, cost of the website and we have uh, made uh, we have shown you some kind of uh, mathematical calculations and uh, 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 some results of how many months and uh, how much staff is needed for uh, developing this uh, model um, coming to the architecture elaboration plan revision of the vision document revision of the project plan architecture design developing prototype test plan formal technical inspections formal requirement specification phase 2 presentation uh, we have just given you the project plan of like economic phase 1 and phase 2 and uh, so it's like it was the different phases of uh, how we implemented the project so this would be a main idea of uh, creating the project successfully uh, coming to the conclusion uh, to sum it up uh, our hypothesis was that the online air ticket reservation is simple better time zone compatible on all platforms so apart from here I just also want to show you guys uh, how I'm gonna execute my code so uh, this is how my uh, main page or uh, my website main page looks like so here you can see it's like I have a airport reservation system for Dallas Fort Worth we named it as Dallas Fort Worth air, air ticket reservation here we have four options like to book a ticket to display passengers list to cancel reservation and to exit options so I'll just go with the to book a ticket press one and enter enter flight number it's asking a flight number from range of uh, okay certain range so I mean it depends on the flight numbers that we allot so so I gave it as like 4410 which is between 00 to 0, so we have 25 flights flight right now so it's asking about which class economy or business so I'll go with the right now uh, with the economy let me stop the seat is available for reservation itinerary class economy your seat number is one your first name I'm gonna enter my first name into age my age is 23 then your ticket is zero press any key I just put an enter okay now if I just go with the second option to display the passengers list then if I just go with the flight number once in for 410 then I'm going to get my your ticket details are lucky wiki and age 23 seat number one and economy class and person entity and I can also go with the to cancel my reservation I'll just go with number three and your flight number go with double four one zero okay so the present reservation status of the flight is like I'm gonna get set of reservation so depending upon which you can just like uh, go and uh, uh, delete so if I go with economy class it's going to give me the seat number of so the one so your ticket is can my ticket has been cancelled now if I just go back and uh, display the passengers list for the same flight four four one zero then we have we don't have anything so it's like empty so it says like everything is uh, now erased and we don't have any kind of reservation made over here so if we just go with zero then I can exit my program is done so this is what we try to implement successfully and uh, this is going to be the uh, major uh, implementation in uh, future uh, for all kind of uh, airline reservation systems